I thank uh, the chair for recognizing me and appreciate all our witnesses being here. Um, I am, however, um, once again disappointed that we're not having a hearing on the, the actual border crisis. While legal immigration is important to our country, the most important issue, in my opinion, that this subcommittee should be addressing is the border security. The current crisis was created by the Biden administration and our Democrat friends in Congress. President Biden had ended successful pro policies and programs that were put in place by the Trump administration and that brought the southern border under operational control generally. Democrats in Congress continue to promise amnesty to those who have broken our laws. They continue to provide incentives and draws for people from all over the world to enter our country illegally. When it comes to legal immigration, we're the most generous nation in the world. Despite the COVID-19 pandemic, for instance, in fiscal year 2020, more than 700,000 people received a green card and more than 620,000 individuals were naturalized. In FY 2019, more than 1 million individuals received green cards and more than 840,000 individuals were naturalized. And in FY 2019, there were more than 186 million non-immigrant alien admissions to the United States. And that included over 440,000 H-2A visa admissions and over 129,000 H-2B admissions and over 1.8 million student admissions. And according to USCIS data, as of September 30, 2019, there were more than 583,000 aliens authorized to work in the United States in the H-1B visa classification. By any stretch of the imagination, by any rational look at this, you cannot say that the United States is squeezing out immigrants. Well, instead, we're the most generous nation in the world for immigration. So, Mr. Law, my first question is for you. What impact would reinstate the MPP have on the current crisis? Thank you. MPP was one of the, or Remain in Mexico, as it is sometimes uh, referred to as, was one of the, the most visionary aspects of the Trump administration's efforts to control the border and deter fraudulent, frivolous, and otherwise non-meritorious asylum claims filed by economic migrants. Uh, the way that MPP works is if you have not, uh, if you do not have an, uh, if you are inadmissible, you must wait in Mexico if you are a non-Mexican until uh, you have your, your court hearing. The number one goal of economic migrants is to simply be let into the country, at which point they oftentimes disappear or in many cases are actually given work permits while they wait out um, their court their court dates, and very few of them actually meet the statutory requirement of the humanitarian protection that we call asylum. So MPP absolutely sh does control the border. So, so Mr. Law, how many aliens are currently in the United States waiting for their asylum claim to be adjudicated, either by USCIS or EOIR? Thank you. So it's my understanding, based off of the, the fiscal year 21 uh, refugee report that the State Department uh, submitted, uh, which takes into account and recognizes that our humanitarian efforts are both refugee from abroad and asylum uh, here at home, and we have to address both, that USCIS has approximately 598,000 asylum applications that they are dealing with, and that EOR, um, through the Department of Justice, has approximately 549,000 uh, on their docket. So what percentage of aliens who actually express fear at the border ultimately file an asylum claim? So this is an important point. The, the claiming of credible fear is tends to have been the ticket into the country. That does not mean that you are granted asylum. It just means you've met, met the first threshold. Once that claim has been made, only 62% are subsequently turning around and actually seeking asylum in, in this country. So in 20 year, fiscal year 2020 through quarter three, um, what percentage actually uh, was adjudicated as having a credible fear claim? Uh, credible fear, I, I, I know, is, is a rather higher number, but then when you look at actual asylum grants, uh, which I think is the more important measure, it's only approximately 15%. Right. Now, that's, that's roughly right all the way back to uh, FY 2013. And what happens to those whose claims are not granted? Well, oftentimes they are uh, not removed from this country. They, they should be. But just given the, the sheer volume of it and the limited enforcement resources that ICE has, um, very, very few actually get removed. And, and that, again, just further complicates the system and just fuels the next 
caravan of, of economic migrants. Um, I see my time's expired. I thank the, the gentlelady. Thank you, Madam Chair. Sure. Uh, thank you. The gentlelady from Washington, Ms. Paul, is now recognized.